What's going on guys, it's John here. Today, we're gonna go to the 73 Camaro. We just got the Turbo 400 bolted in. The problem is it's a fixed yoke transmission, so we are going to convert it to accept our slip yoke. Let's get to it. All right, excuse the messy workbench. I'm building a car right now. Here is the part number. This is our problem solver right here. You go to dennysdriveshaft.com. I'll put the link in the description below. This here is our solution. Regular slip yoke, it's sealed off, no bolt hole. But right here, this is where it's genius. You can see in here, it has a counterbore that goes all the way down to the splines. This is because inside the transmission output shaft, there is a groove with an O-ring on it. And that is to seal off the fixed yoke. So this way fluid doesn't go in and come out the bolt hole. We have to remove that O-ring in order to use this slip yoke in place. So this way fluid will go in and lubricate these splines. Let's get to it. There we go, she's out. Let's go look at these on the workbench. So here's the two yokes side by side. Obviously the one we took out and our new one. This is why they have an O-ring in the back. Because this is open and if, the, if they didn't have that O-ring, all that liquid would come right out. This is also why it was difficult to come off and I had to use the hammer. You see how it's all rusty in there? Moisture gets in and then it kind of rusted the two together made it a little difficult but a couple taps with the hammer and it came out no problem there's a height difference but that's also because this has is full and this one's open but the shaft itself is significantly longer and you can see where in here it is also counterboard but this is right where that o-ring sits this will slip way over the O-ring and allow proper engagement. So here we pulled the cross member out, we got the jack set up and we lowered the transmission down to make it a little bit easier to work on. We're going to be using a 916 to remove the tail housing. So as you can see, we got the tail cone off. So here's our shaft. And right here, this machined piece is like a big lip. There's our O-ring. This would create a seal against our fixed yoke and would prevent uh, transmission fluid from coming up the splines and spilling out the end. But because we're going to a slip yoke that is sealed off and not using the bolt hole, we got to remove this O-ring so this way transmission fluid will come up and lubricate the splines. I get these little picks here at Harbor Freight. They're like two bucks, I think. And they work great. I was able to pull it right off. It actually broke it right in half. Now we got the ring off. I'm just going to clean up these splines a little bit with a wire brush just so this way our slip yoke operates nice and smooth. Now look at this, we got the cross member back in, we got the transmission mount bolted in, and the tail cone is completely bolted back on to the transmission. It was exactly what you saw before but in reverse, and now 
we're going to take our brand new yoke and slide her in. That's it guys. We went from fixed yoke to slip yoke. The output shaft is cleaned. It will get lubricated now. And this goes all the way in. Comes out. This is just what we needed for our 73 Camaro. I was really excited to make this video because there's not much out there in terms of explaining how to do the fixed yoke to slip yoke conversion. If you got any use out of this video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment down below saying so. If you have any questions, please let me know. I was trying to make this as informative as possible so that anybody can do it. It really only took me about an hour total, including cleaning the, uh, the shaft. Um, a quick note, I did just reuse the gasket that was on there because it was not damaged in any way when I removed that tail cone and I just tightened it down um, when I reinstalled it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up down below. Take care guys.